Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It means a great deal, and for those who haven't subscribed yet, let me take you a second thank you. Now, what I want to talk to you about today is breaking a book's spine, or not breaking it, I should say, or not cracking it, as it's known. So when we first get a, a new book, a lot of people, when it's paperback or a small paperback or something they can take away on holiday, they're not so bothered about really taking care of that book. They're not bothered about how it sits on a desk. They'll just read it as they're sat, as they're leaning back in a deck chair or whatever. It'll get um, knocked about in a bag. The corners will bend. The pages will tear. It'll... You know, they're not so bothered. Um, but then there's other people who really appreciate, um, not so much appreciate, but um, want to look after their book. And they want to keep it for years to come, maybe hand it over to someone else. And they don't want it to look like it's just fallen out of a plane somewhere. So what we're going to look at is how a lot of people, including myself, start opening a book to start breaking that spine without cracking that spine now what i mean by cracking the spine is if it's sort of some people will just get the book and straight away they'll open it they'll flatten it and they'll just carry it start reading and they'll flatten it and that can actually damage the spine and it also depends on the paper quality because if the paper quality and the way it's been put together in the binder um is poor then you know you you could be wasting your time you might end up with losing pages regardless uh, and having a cracked spine and that usually means it's bent backwards and bits of pages fall out every now and then um, and the whole thing falls apart over time and it's really quite sad um, especially if you love box like I do I like to start by getting the first cover and holding it back and applying a little bit of pressure oh. until I feel it's nice and flat but not too much pressure but enough but I'm quite heavy-handed so and again at the back put some weight on the front there and again just tease that back down and then I'll grab between five and ten pages and I'll do the same again and I'll put my finger right in that right in there right in the seam there and give it a little pushing down obviously making sure my hands are clean and i've just been, just been doing a little gardening and they're not wet so i will go back and two back and two like that same with the back i'll grab a few pages between five and ten pages and i'll do that too gently putting force on there a little bit at a time and i'll work my way through the book like that five or ten pages at a time it doesn't have to be exact you know if it's two or it's 15 it's so be it you know but uh, try and get not too many pages don't go like that you know so and i'll do that all the way through and i might even go over it again just depending on how i feel really sometimes a really thick paperback can be can be hard work but it's worth doing this it's worth spending a few minutes just doing this getting yourself ready to read it because you'll enjoy it much more when it doesn't fall apart in your hands <laughs> see a lot of people we're only going 90 degrees with this and we're pushing on 90 degrees now a lot of people or some people will go a full let me just get to the other side here a full 180 and go like this and fold it down well that can really destroy your book so a little bit at a time it's not a problem it'll take you a few minutes and working your way to the middle and when you get to the middle open the middle and don't just fold them back like that still use the 90 degree and push it down open it up and then only then apply a little bit of pressure and hopefully 
we haven't got an arched spine on the back and no we haven't on there so that's great and this is the first time I've done this with this book it's a copy of one of my books and I haven't so now it sits better so if we open a few pages it sits now if I get another book and yeah I've looked at this one just as a brief flick through but if I go like that it doesn't sit as neat you know it's not it's not going to hold back it's going to be forced involved and that's no good it's okay if you sat like this but if you want to put it down on something or hold it a little bit further away and you don't want any strain on your hands then you know I would go with doing exactly what I've just done there but it's much easier it's much nicer it sits in your hand when you're reading and I mean that's what it's all about so you can enjoy the read instead of biting with the book now if it gets a real curl on it on the outside there with the smaller books will do that and what you can do then is if you want to get it back you can, you can just go like that with a smaller book we give it a roll on one side then a little roll on the other side and you're back to the way you were and yeah that's great so that's those two done now we're looking at <coughs> hardcover books now I've just had this one oh, I've already opened it but I've just to have a quick look make sure it's in uh, good condition on the outside I bought this book in the hardcover because I really wanted to keep it and you know look after it but I see that there's a damage to it so I'm not happy about that now for a hardcover book what I do is I'll open the front I'll sit that down and the back I'll rest that down and then I'll start from the middle and I'll open that everybody has their own their own way of doing things I'll start from the middle and I'll just let the pages fall and I'll put apply a, only the slightest bit of pressure close it back up again and I'll go for about a quarter and I'll let it fall and I'll apply a little bit of pressure bring it back up take about a quarter from the other side and lower it down and do that I'll go for two-thirds and I'll do that and I'll give it a little a little push and I'll do that I'll do that over the book now what I'll do is I'll just go over the whole thing a few pages at a time from either side pretty much just like I've done with the uh, paperback but I'll let the whole paper book drop this time but not apply too much pressure and I can do that all the time I can just keep going over it until I'm happy that it's now ready to read and the spine has been prepared so it doesn't get damaged yeah okay I take a book on holiday and I just I'm only planning on reading for the holiday and then I, sometimes I'll leave them there but when it comes to hard covers and especially with dust covers you know I like to I like to look after them <laughs>